Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Addie. Today we are going to talk about this little product here, vinegar. We pretty much all have this sitting around in our kitchen somewhere, most likely. But before looking into it, I really didn't use it for much. If a recipe called for vinegar, I would put it in the recipe, and I did know that you could use vinegar in surface cleaners, but I have never done that personally. But there are so many other things that you can use vinegar for. But before we get into it, if you are not subscribed, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button below. I do mostly motherhood, home, and lifestyle videos. So on to the hacks. The first hack I'm going to tell you about is how to clean your microwave with vinegar. So in a glass bowl or cup, you're going to add one fourth cup of vinegar to one cup of water. And then you're going to put that in the microwave on high for five minutes. Then you want to let it cool for a few minutes because it will be really hot and use a hot pad or a washcloth or something to pull it out so that you don't burn yourself. And then you want to dip your cloth or sponge into the solution and wipe down the inside of your microwave. It'll come off super clean. The next hack is a jewelry cleaner. And I was not sure how this was going to work because when I first got engaged, I got an expensive jewelry cleaner and I would wash my ring every night or clean my ring every night. And now that I've been married for, you know, five years, I'm just like, whatever, I do everything in it and I never wash it, mostly because I ran out of that solution. So this really piqued my interest. And all you have to do is in a medium bowl, not a ramekin, add a half a cup of vinegar and two tablespoons of baking soda. Once it stops visiting, add the jewelry to the solution and let it soak for two or three hours. I gave mine a little scrub before rinsing it under cold water. And after you do that, then let it dry. And then you can also use this for any silver, your silver cutlery, your silver dishes, your silver, whatever else. This will also work for that. The next hack is how to remove ballpoint pen or crayon from your walls. Now, I don't have children, knock on wood, that draw on the walls with these things. So I actually had to draw on my wall to demonstrate this for you. And that was terrifying because what if it didn't work? Thankfully it did. So what you want to do is get a wet sponge or toothbrush, soak it in vinegar, and then use it on the mark and repeat it as needed. I would recommend using a toothbrush, not the sponge, because the color did transfer a little bit to the wall. The next tip is to clean your washing machine using vinegar. You'll want to add three cups of vinegar to the washing machine tub and let it sit for about a half hour. With the vinegar still in the machine, run it without anything else in it on the longest, hottest cycle. At first, I didn't know if this was actually working because when the water was coming out in the cycle, it was still looked clear and clean. So I was like, oh man, but then the smell, it was smelled like mildew and mold. And I, I was like, I couldn't believe I had to leave the laundry room because it was so bad. So I think it was something that definitely needed to be done. And I'm really glad that I did it. And I will be definitely doing it more often because the fact that I've been washing my clothes in a dirty washing machine, I'm amazed that my clothes have been coming out okay. The next hack that you can use vinegar for is to get the sticker residue off of objects. So to start, you want to remove as much of the sticker from the object as possible and then liberally apply vinegar to the residue. Let it sit about five minutes and then wipe away. This was actually a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to soak in the vinegar and then just peel right off but I actually still had to use a little bit of elbow grease, so it didn't work as good as I would have thought, but it did still work. The next two hacks are cooking hacks, and the first one is that you can use vinegar to make buttermilk. You do not have to go to the store and buy buttermilk from the milk section. You can make your own at home. All you have to do is add one tablespoon of vinegar to one cup of milk, stir it together, and let it sit for about 10 minutes. The next cooking hack is to use vinegar in the water of your eggs to help make peeling them easier. And this one is like 100% do this because I used to think that the trick was cold water and the cold water made peeling the eggs easier, 
but the last time I did it, they were still so hard and I was so frustrated, but putting vinegar in the water, I mean, they, the shells just like came off the eggs so easily. This is one that I will do over and over from now on, no matter what. What you want to do is just add two tablespoons of vinegar to the water that you're boiling for your hard boiled eggs and then just make them like normal. Vinegar is also useful for helping to trap the annoying fruit flies that come home from the supermarket sometimes. So all you have to do is fill a plastic cup a little bit of the way full of vinegar. Put saran wrap over the opening and rubber band it, then puncture small holes in the saran wrap. I just used a knife and then just let it sit out in your problem areas. The next hack is to use vinegar if you ever have an accident from one of your pets on your carpet or couch or some surface that um, is not you know, a hardwood floor or something. So what you do is you want to take paper towels and blot it up as much as you can just with that. Then what you want to do is get an equal part vinegar to water solution in a spray bottle or in a jug or something and saturate the urine stain with that solution. And then you want to wait about five or 10 minutes to let it all get working in there and then use paper towels to blot that up as much as you can as well. After that, you want to get baking soda because baking soda is what helps with odor relief. And so you want to sprinkle baking soda on the stain. And then after about an hour, you can go in with a vacuum to vacuum it up and that will get the stain and the odor from your surface. Now, I can't show that to you because I don't have a pet and I don't have that problem. However, I do have children and when they are young, sometimes they have accidents in their bed and this applies to mattresses too. So I have been able to take a spray bottle of vinegar, vinegar water, and after um, they have an accident, I can blot up with paper towels the area, then I'll spray it with the vinegar and let it sit there for, I usually let it sit for like an hour because I just, usually I'm doing other things, but then I'll come back and blot up what I can, throw some baking soda on it, and then use a vacuum to vacuum it up. And voila, spot cleaned. The next hack with vinegar is to use it to get spots and marks off of leather and suede. And all you have to do is dip a soft bristled toothbrush into vinegar and then brush the stained area. Let it air dry and then maybe fluff it back up with a comb or the brush to get it back to normal. Now this worked pretty well for me, but I wouldn't say 100% because it didn't get every single mark out of my suede shoes although it did get some of the dirt and grime. So I think it depends on the kind of stain that the vinegar might get out. The next vinegar hack is to get stains out of cotton. And I must say that you have to have just done the stain is what I'm finding because when I tested the first item of clothing that I had already washed and dried several times trying to get the stain out, I think it was just too far into the clothing that it wasn't gonna come out. But when I did it with clothes that were kind of freshly stained, things came right out. So all you have to do is spot treat with vinegar before laundering. For set in stains like this one, you can spot treat with a solution of three tablespoons vinegar, two tablespoons liquid detergent, and one cup of water. Let it sit and then launder as normal. And you can add one to two cups of vinegar to the washing cycle if it's severe. Another way that you can use vinegar is as your very own DIY wrinkle release. The one thing I would say about this is if I was to do it again, I would put a little essential oil in with the vinegar mix to make sure that I like the scent that is going to be left on my clothes because I did think it smelled a little bit vinegary even with the conditioner. So what you do is combine one tablespoon of vinegar, one tablespoon of hair conditioner, and two tablespoons of water into a spray bottle and spray that on your wrinkled fabric. Then brush out the wrinkles with your fingers and let it dry. The next hack for vinegar is if you have a sunburn. Vinegar can apparently take the sting out of your burn. So you just get like a little washcloth or a cotton ball and you can dip it in vinegar and then apply it to the burn. And it might take, I can test this because I don't have a sunburn at the moment, but it might take the sting out of that sunburn. Kind of in line with sunburn, 
Vinegar can also take the sting out of mosquito bites or other insect bites that are itchy. Again, you would just kind of dip a cotton ball or a sponge or a washcloth or something into vinegar and then apply it to wherever it is itchy. Next up, we have that vinegar can make your nail polish last longer. All you have to do is dip a cotton ball in vinegar and rub it on your fingernails before you paint them. Then paint them like normal and it lasts longer than it did otherwise. Vinegar can also be used to help soften your feet. What you want to do is combine 1 4th cup Listerine, 1 4th cup vinegar in a small tub filled with hot water. Then soak your feet for about 20 minutes, exfoliate, and dry them off. I was pleasantly surprised by how soft my feet actually turned out after this. The next vinegar hack is to help you get rid of unwanted grass or weeds in your yard or sidewalk or wherever. What you do is just fill up a spray bottle with vinegar and spray it onto those unwanted grass or weeds. You do want to make sure that you really saturate it in the vinegar so that it can reach the roots. And if you have a very stubborn weed, you can heat up the vinegar and add a half cup of salt and try it again. You guys, I was actually really surprised that this worked. I, I didn't think it was going to work and I forgot to film the after the dead weeds before my husband kind of dug them up. Um, and so you don't get to see it, but it did work and I was surprised because what I thought, what some one of my neighbors told me when I was telling her about this hack was that it wouldn't work unless I had some special grade of vinegar. So I was expecting this not to work, but it did and I was pleasantly surprised. Um, but you do still have to kind of dig it up after. It doesn't just like, you know, die and then you get to forget it. It is a dead weed there. So you do still have to pull it or shovel it out or do whatever. The next hack is to help keep your flowers alive longer. I'm doing a test for this one and have some flowers in a jar just of water and then the other ones will be in a vase with two tablespoons vinegar, one teaspoon sugar, and a quart of water. I put the fresh cut flowers in there and then these are the results after a week. The one with vinegar definitely held up better. The last vinegar hack I have for you today is to help you preserve your fruits and vegetables for longer. Start by filling your sink about halfway full of warm water. Then add a half cup of vinegar and lightly stir to mix the solution. Add in your produce and lightly stir that around and let it sit for a few minutes. Once it's done, you want to drain the water and rinse the produce with fresh water and make it completely dry. To be honest, I cannot for 100% certain tell you that this hack worked for me because honestly, we kind of went through the produce faster than two or three weeks. So for example, the berries that I just showed you were gone in like the first three days. But I will say raspberries in my house, if we don't usually eat them on the first day, are usually mushy and gone because I find that once they're wet, they just don't hold up. But these raspberries actually did last three days, so I think the vinegar may have helped a little, but I just can't confirm. Alrighty, so that is all the vinegar I hacks I have for you today. My mind about vinegar has completely changed. I mean, if Dan is asking what we had, what we could do to do something, I'm always like, probably vinegar <laughs> at this point. I just, my mind has been blown about how versatile this little bottle of vinegar is. I hope that you found this video interesting. I have even more ways that you can use vinegar on my website, so I will put a link to that in the description box below. And let me know in the comments what your favorite ways to use vinegar are. I'm sure I haven't listed them all. See you next time.